Hey everybody, in this lesson we are going to learn an effective way to make a hole in a square object. So let's start off with a cube and let's go ahead and create a hole in this cube. Now one of the things you want to avoid in general is the use of booleans. Booleans are seemingly a good method but can deem bad results. Let's see why these deem bad results. So I'm going to go ahead and take this option and let me slide this into this and I'll hold shift and run a boolean. Now if I do a difference what you'll notice and actually let me select those the opposite way here so I'm going to grab that then this then this there we go and now I can run a boolean difference there we go where seemingly it looks nice, and if I put wireframe unshaded, you'll see I have a massive end gone. Also, when I go to smooth, my geometry becomes corrupt. So it's something that I need to be aware of when I'm creating objects. Well, let's see how we can get around this. So let's start with a simple piece of geometry under the polygon primitive menu. Let's create a pipe. Now, pipes are great because they already have a hole in them, which is a great start, and they also already come kind of pre-built and ready to go uh, for what we're about to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and set this down to 12, and we could even probably go lower here, maybe 8. There we go. We'll use 8 for now. 7. 7 is probably the lowest we can get. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the faces um, except for the top ring. And what I'll do with this top ring is the following. I will take this top ring and I will utilize these faces. And actually seven was not going to be enough. So let's use an even number. There we go. Always want to keep it even. And I will grab the faces. There we go. Hit delete. Now we're back to where we're at. And let's see what we can do in this top view. So what I'm going to do is actually going to grab the vertices and just the ones on the outside. And we're going to start with the top and the bottom. And we're going to scale them inward. You can't really mess this up. So just pull them out until they straighten the lines. And what we now have is a cube, which is a really great method. Now if I double click and I extrude, what I can now do is kind of extrude outward or if I really want I can actually center this and extrude outward this way and begin to narrow off or triangle out the specific sections in this cube. So when I have these sections um, and I want to go ahead and put this and line this up on top all I really have to do is match up my cube with my hole that I've created. There it is. And I can then do some prep work. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the first thing is I'm going to delete the top face. And the second thing I need to do with, for prep work is I need to make sure there's enough lines to connect things. And this is a simple multi-cut tool. So if I go to our uh, mesh tools multi-cut and then I go ahead and I have to select my object Let's go into object mode, hold my control key down, I can go ahead and add a few edge rings, there we go, that looks good, and now I can go ahead and do a mesh combined. So let me scale this down a little bit and kind of fit it into place snugly, it's always a good thing to keep it in tight there, awesome. And let's see what we can do here. So shift select both objects, mesh combine. Uh, let's use our mesh tools target weld because that tends to be fun and exciting. And we're gonna just weld upward. I always weld in the same direction. We can always fix this later. So if it's not exactly on target. And I think we got every single one yeah, it looks like we did. And now, voila, grab the vertices, stretch them downward, and you have yourself a hole 
in a box and it's relatively easy to do. I can even go as far as to grab the inner edges and I can extrude those downward and I'll hit G again to extrude, pull those in and if I really want to I can then grab those faces alone, make sure I don't have any on the bottom and do a mesh and let's do a merge. Let's go ahead and do a mesh, edit mesh, and let's find where our merge button is. There, there, our merge. We can even do merge the center. And voila, now we have an object. And the cool thing about this is if I smooth this, it's a heck of a lot better of a shape. So off the bat, pretty nice shape. Um, and again, you want to make sure you get all your edges. So I looked like I missed one when I smoothed it. So just be very careful of that. And, you know, these aren't hard fixes. It's just a matter of, there we go, getting in that way. So now we have some nice edges. If I smooth this, now it's consistent. I could even add more edge loops now and go ahead and build a nice solid shape as you can see and now I have some decent geometry and a hole cut into my geometry. Hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to the next lesson.